Hey everyone, this video is about this a little annoying setting that I came across in Visual Studio Code. And I don't know if it's just me or if this would happen to anyone else's computer, but when we run a Python code in debug mode, by default, for me at least, it was showing some ugly, annoying pass in. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. If I go to debug, and choose start debugging you see this path now if I'm doing a tutorial on Python I don't want to show all this nonsense up here nobody needs to see that to distract them from the awesome learning okay and I went on Stack Overflow and posted about this and nobody and their mother could figure this out people are all being negative Nancy's you can't do it uh, that's just how it is or how about just executing it like this whatever either answers that they were giving was showing some type of path or something extra and I know it could be done because I've seen someone else do it so I finally figured it out and what it is is if you go to the launch dot adjacent you have to remove the setting for console so if I get rid of integrated terminal just remove whatever you have in there just put in none actually you know, sometimes things might be case sensitive yeah it's all lowercase and you do none like this and now actually let me just clear the screen now if I execute this and I go to the debug console actually I should I went there a little too soon let's go back okay I want to execute this from here I'm gonna hit F5 Boom, rise and shine, clean, minimalistic, no path garbage, all right? I don't know why it was so difficult for Stack Overflow. I don't know, maybe I'm becoming a better programmer and now questions that I ask can't be answered because it's not for the novice, it's not the simplistic questions, but I feel like I haven't been getting that much out of Stack Overflow lately. And also, some people are a little antsy on there. They get a little snarky with you. They'll give like some short answers that are not even answers. Anyway, I do appreciate them, so I'm not trying to send any shade. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. How do I simplify the out this outputted path in Visual Studio Code? You see that? Unfortunately, there's no way to avoid that output. Look at that. Alright. Thanks, Brett. And there were the comments there. Eventually I just said, look, I figured it out. I told them what I did. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. Never give up on yourself, folks. That's the message of this video. <laughs> anyway, uh, in the comment section, let me know what you think about Stack Overflow. Is it just me or if you've been having issues getting some straightforward answers when you've posted before on there? And also, what other sites do you use? to get tech questions answered. Cause I kind of feel like Stack Overflow is the king and there's really not that much else. I mean, I've heard of Quora and I know there's the other Stack related websites, but let me know, what are your thoughts? What else do you use to get answers that you can hit on repeatedly if needed? And that's been pretty satisfying to you. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe and definitely give me a like. Um, I want to be able to continue putting out more videos like this. That's going to be my goal for the next few years now. And I'm thinking about putting together a playlist of just all tech issues that I come across and the solutions that I've found for them. Because I've never been the one to go on Stack Overflow looking for questions. I really do admire the people that go on there and give solutions because I, I, I used to wonder, I'm like, man, who, who sits around and just waits for questions and just starts answering them? I mean, I've got stuff to do. I, I don't have time for that. I mean, you know, that sounds like I'm insulting them. I, I'm, not, I'm not, but it's like, at what point, how does that happen? <laughs> I mean, I really appreciate it, but I'm like, man, anyway. I take that back. It sounds like I'm throwing shade. That, and that's not my intention. <laughs> I appreciate the answers. I'm just, I was never one to just come on here and, and, and contribute. And I want to. 
but I did it. So I'm gonna do it through YouTube, all right? And this is the first of many videos to come. Anyway, once again, don't forget to leave your comments on what other websites do you use to check out answers for tech questions, tech issues. I really wanna know. And if you do like this video, go ahead and leave a like. And definitely follow me on the other social media networks for stuff I might mention there that I do not mention here. All right, and I'll talk to you later.